Hello, I'm John Lampy from Green Shoots. I'm here to talk about how a customer of ours, Dave from Virginia, dealt with the orchard grass in his yard without harming his turf grass. This same technique can be used on invasive grasses in other locations, planting beds, flower gardens, prairies, or any place you have grassy weeds like orchard grass mixed in with desirable ones. Orchard grass, or Dactylus glomerata, is a non-native grass that can invade lawns and native grasslands. Once established, orchard grass is difficult to control. Broadleaf weed killers commonly available to homeowners for lawn care, of course, won't work on grasses. Since orchard grass is a perennial, the very best time to apply it is in the fall when the orchard grass is storing carbohydrates underground for overwintering. Dave started attacking his orchard grass in October of 2022. Dave used our small foam herbicide dispenser to attack the orchard grass. I've included this photo here of an application to a thistle rosette to show just how precise you can be with our small foam herbicide dispenser. Note you don't have to cover 100% of the target weed. Here I am only covering about 20% of the foliage. For foliar applications to grasses, I would recommend creating a solution with 4% glyphosate active ingredient. If you have a bottle of glyphosate concentrate with 41% active ingredient, then you would add the amounts shown here of water, blue foaming agent, and herbicide concentrate to get a mix with 4% active ingredient in our small foam herbicide dispenser. Dave took these photos to show the difference between a mature clump of orchard grass and an immature one. The one on the left is the immature clump of orchard grass. As Dave noted, the plant blades are less coarse and the plant is generally more bushy. To treat the immature clump, Dave put a small dollop of foam herbicide at the center of the stems near the collar, which can help retain the foam herbicide on the stem. He then applied to the other stems. Here, and here. This is a good technique when applying the foam herbicide to any weeds located amongst desirable plants. Don't apply foam herbicide to higher, thinner leaf parts because you are more likely to get drippage. For the mature orchard grass, such as the plants shown at right, Dave had two techniques. If the stem stood upright, he would apply dollops of foam at the root collar, such as here, here, and here. After mowing, the orchard grass often grew flat and the root collar would often be cut off. In these situations, Dave applied the foam herbicide to the big flat surfaces such as here, here, and here. Another technique useful for tall grasses is the cut stem technique. This slide shows a cut stem treatment to reed canary grass. Cut the grass fairly low where the stem is quite thick. A dollop of foam can then be placed on the cut stem. For cut stem treatments, I recommend creating a solution with 20% glyphosate active ingredient. If you have a bottle of glyphosate concentrate with 41% active ingredient, then you would add the amounts shown here to the small dispenser to get a mix with 20% active ingredient. These photos show how Dave's lawn looked in late fall after the orchard grass started to die off. It looks a little rough, but that's mainly because of the dying orchard grass. Dave put the purple circle here to show where most of the orchard grass was located in this part of the lawn. The red arrows show where he had applied the foam herbicide. Same thing here and here. By the next spring, April of 2023, the lawn grass had already started to close up the holes where the orchard grass was located. And as you can see, there was almost no collateral damage to the turf.